Hey guys, Mark Keating here from Learberg Online University and I just wanted to take a moment to talk about uh, one element of our training that you're going to see within the entire university. Whether it's one of the courses that I teach or what, what one of Mike Ellis's courses or one of Forrest Mickey's courses. Uh, you're going to see something that is a constant throughout all of our training and that is something we call touch pads. So here's, a, here's an example of a touch pad right here in, uh, in our relationship. Oops. Excuse us, in our relationship games course, this is called Find Your Spot. So, uh, what we got here is we have Jeff and his little puppy who he's had for one week. He's, teach, he's taught the puppy a few different behaviors. He's going to be demonstrating how we initially teach this game, this little behavior. Again, we call it touch pads. And we, we start it by luring. Okay, so while Jeff is doing this, I'm just going to talk about some of our possibilities with touch pads. Okay, so go ahead and take over, Jeff. Good. Good. So you can see just a very basic lure. Yes. So the puppy is actually right now also not only learning to get on the pad, but he's also learning to stay on the pad. The reason this is such a huge uh, exercise for us is because with most of our obedience training, we deal with uh, everything in a close proximity. So the dog will be sitting in front of us receiving a reward from us. Uh, the dog will be maybe lear learning heel positions or recall positions. Everything is associated with us as the handler. When we're talking about a touch pad, th the puppy here is learning that in order to get the food from the handler, it needs to go to the touch pad. So you can see if you've taught your dog several behaviors, it's going to be trickier to teach a touch pad. So we like to do it first, like one of the first things we teach the dog after we teach marking. Down the road, we can use this touchpad for several things. Uh, personally, I use it a lot for uh, what we call rear end awareness, which is teaching the dog that if he were to, uh, right now, if Jeff were to just pivot a little bit, you can, can, can you do that? Yes. So you can see the dog now, he moved a little bit of his rear end one direction, and Jeff immediately marked. So we call that rear end awareness. That's one, that's one aspect. We can also teach the dog to go to multiple touch pads, two different touch pads, and then put uh, something like a jump in between the two touch pads, teaching the dog to uh, hurdle. You'll find that common in a lot of our biting sports and even in some of the competitive obedience stuff. So also we use it for something called a send away or a go out, which is where the dog runs in a straight line until we tell them to stop. Uh, I've used the touch pads uh, to teach dogs to turn off light switches, which is something that we're going to end up doing with Sunny here too. So it's personally, this is my favorite behavior to teach a dog. Uh, that's one of the reasons we included it in, in uh, the course that I do, Relationship Games. But it's for me the most versatile of all of the exercises that I can teach the dog in the way that I can use the touch pad to accentuate or embellish many, many other behaviors that I'm also working on. Yes. And you can see here again, it all starts with a simple lure. Will you lure him up one more time for us, Jeff? So he'll lure the dog on yes. and reward him off. He says yes, yes. And, the, and the dog jumps off and gets a piece of food. What's beautiful now is that you can see the dog didn't need Jeff's lure. It also didn't require Jeff to give the dog the touch command. The dog is in a state of offering behavior, which means for us, yes. he is initiating our training conversation, touch. which is a very good thing. Yes. Touch. Yes. Touch. Yes. Good boy. Touch. Good. Good. I'm going to pick this up now, Jeff. We always want to make sure when, we, when we're done with our touch pads that we take it away because uh, absence makes the heart grow fonder. How about that? 